Hello and welcome to Bristol Sport TV. In the next 10 minutes or so, we'll bring you up to speed on all of your favourite Bristol sporting teams. And it promises to be a busy weekend as all of our teams are in action. Uh, it's led off by Bristol City here at Ashton Gate on Saturday when they take on Derby. The kickoff for that at three o'clock. And I'm pleased to say that I'm joined by one of City stars right now. Bobby Reid joins me. Uh, thanks very much for coming in to chat to us because I know it is a busy schedule at the moment. You're fresh from the team photo here. Yeah, we had it today. Uh, thankfully, the weather was all right and had a few photos with, with all the staff. A bit of banter flying about, but yeah, it was enjoyable. It was a bit blustery out there, wasn't it? I'm presuming your hair is fine in the wind. I wouldn't like to be out there in that. Um, I wouldn't say fine. <laughs> the odd one might be sticking up like that, but <laughs> no, nah, it's OK. And uh, you have had a fantastic start to the season. Six goals so far. You've already eclipsed your total from last season, four last year. So much so, you've had to redo your goal gifts. Well, yeah, um, people said it was a bit boring when that was doing. You were doing uh, that one, yeah. weren't you? And I've scored a few goals now, so I think it's time to switch it up and hopefully everyone else can enjoy this one. Do we get a, a little bit of a glimpse? I think there was some props involved. There was props those. involved and I'll just say like the, the first game of the season on the programme, I think it said man on fire. So I'm just going to leave it with that and, and, Ooh, and see what... I hope there was no flames. I hope the health and safety force, <laughs> there was no problem here at Ashton fine. going. Nah, no problems. Um, I mean, it, is, it has been a great start for you um, and much has been talked about about your changing position, of course. That happened over the summer, Lee Johnson sort of proposing. Most of your senior career, you were a midfielder, I think mm. all of it, yeah. until the summer when Lee said, how do you fancy going up front? Yeah, he did say that to me and I was a bit, I didn't know how to take it at first. I just wanted to play games and he said, just try it and give it a go because I believe in you in that position and, and see where it takes you. And thankfully for me, pre-season was good and then... It just followed into the start of the season and hopefully it can carry on. How, how difficult is it to change, you know, because you've spent a number of years in, in that midfield position. Do you kind of find yourself going, oh, no, I need to go forward? <laughs> or um, is it, nah, I'd hope not. <laughs> no, nah, not necessarily because naturally I'm a number 10, which is borderline striker, but I'm just doing a bit more offensive work and I'm running in behind more. So to be fair, it feels natural to me. I don't feel alienated doing it. So I was buzzing with it, to be fair. And I guess it's, it's quite funny that you said you didn't know really how to take it because, um, you know, as a mother of a 10 year old boy that's mm. desperate to play up front all of the time, I'd mm. imagine most children look at it and go, of course you want to take it. Mm. Were there some thoughts about how you would adapt to it or? Yeah, it was. Is that what concerned you? Yeah, it was that. And as well as if it didn't work out, where would it leave me? Knowing that pre-season, a lot of players would be playing in their position and it didn't work out, then he might already have his midfielders in place and... I might be left out in the cold, but thankfully for me, it's worked out and, and for the team as well. Mm. And how are you finding it this season? I mean, September, as I said, is a busy September. Mm. There's a lot of games. How hard is it to prepare in between, you know, when you've got this Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, especially with the cup, cup run as well? I think um, recovery is, is, is key. Um, we have cryo chamber. A lot of people don't know, he's getting a, a ice cold chamber for a couple of minutes, which is very cold. It's minus 130, I think. Now, most people would go, yeah, I'm not getting in that. Yeah. It, it, it must be horrific. It is. The first minute or so is, and then you kind of get used to it. I don't know how, but you do get used to it a little bit. Because you've gone numb. Yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. And you know it's good for you, so I think you kind of carry it on and, and it's good for you. How long are you in it? How long have you been in it for? Because obviously it's strictly regimented and controlled because mm -hmm. it's obviously meant to benefit your rehab. But how long do you stand in it for? Two minutes, 45 seconds. You count every second. To be fair, we listen to music and I just try to sing along with the lyrics and by the time you know it, it's, it's finished. So what's your favourite tune to listen to in there that takes your mind away from the pain? That you put me on the spot now. Um, probably something by Drake, because I know most of the lyrics, so I can just sing along. Do you sing those in easier. your head or outside? No, I actually sing it, to be fair. Not as loud so everyone can hear me, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't like the idea of that, but I can see the benefits of it. And I guess, mm. you know, it, it shows in terms of the rehab and being able to keep the squad together and going. That's your physical preparation. From a mental point of view, what do you go through? What do you do? Because, you know, a lot of people look at professional football and mm. think, oh, it's the life of Riley. It's fantastic. Yeah. You turn up, you train. But actually, mentally, it's very, very difficult to turn up every single mm. day and train. There's a lot been talked about how coaches get players across all sports. Mm. Um, how they get them to train at the optimum amount every mm -hmm. single training session? I think the key is um, switching off from football. As soon as you leave the training ground, I think you've got to have your downtime, your family time and just relax and try not to think about it and kind of reflect on games and whatnot. But as soon as it's gone, you need to move on. You talk about the downtime then. I know that you are a FIFA 
pro start. Apparently the best one in the in the squad, I hear. I would say that. I think a lot of our players would, would disagree with that. But um haven't played it for, for a long time. I'm waiting for the new one to come out. And yeah, because that's maybe soon, I isn't can, it? Yeah, I think it's within the next month or so. So when that comes out, I'll, I'll be back on it. So when we've got a bit of downtime, I think we'll have a squad night in here and you guys can play a yeah, challenge. You know, like you took we'll on a... the young lad in the uh, Forever Bristol. Yeah, I think we should have a little tournament and, and see who comes out on top. And you're laying down your marker now. You will come 100%, out 100%. I will be up there. Yeah. like to hear it. Um, it seems quite astounding that at the ripe age of 24, mm -hmm. I think you are now, you are our oldest serving team member. Yeah, it sounds crazy. I think there is a young squad I put it down to and I feel like I've been here for ages and I'm enjoying it and hopefully I can be here for much longer. Yeah, I mean, you've come right the way up through the academy as a number of others. And I guess mm -hmm. that must be quite an inspiration for the younger guys coming through at like Freddie and Zach and the younger ones. Coming yeah, through. definitely. I think me and Joe Brown as well are trying to set like a, a pathway through for the academy like, lot to come through. And if they see we can do it, then they've got a chance as well. And they certainly have. Well, uh, Bobby, thank you very much for coming in and talking to us. I hope we get to see the gold gifts on Saturday mm -hmm. or on Tuesday night, of course, uh, when we might claim another Premier League scalp. Definitely, and I hope you lot enjoy it as well. I'm sure we will. Bobby, thanks very much. Cheers, thank you. And just a reminder, tickets available on the website. You can buy on the day as well. Uh, just head to the website for all the details. Well, just as the City Lads are wrapping up the action here at Ashton Gate on Saturday afternoon, the Flyers will be preparing for their last home pre-season friendly when they take on the Worcester Wolves at SGS Wise Arena. Tip off for that at half past seven. And it has been a busy week for the Flyers as they had their roster party here at Ashton Gate in the sports bar on Monday evening when we got to meet the full lineup for the 17-18 season. And the Flyers were back here again at Ashton Gate on Wednesday when they were recording their media ahead of the 17-18 campaign. Of course, a bit of friendly competition between the clubs trying to see who could do the best celebration gifts. We shall wait and see with bated breath what the basketball boys turn out with. Well, of course, their BBL campaign almost ready to kick off. It starts at SGS Wise Arena when they take on local rivals Plymouth on September the 30th. Tickets available for that now online. And of course, ahead of that official launch, they will be playing at London's O2 Arena when they take part in the British Basketball All-Stars Tournament. It's live on Sky, but there are tickets available along with coach travel here from Bristol. Just head to the website to find out all the details. Well, Sunday is a day for rugby as both of our teams are in action. Bristol Rugby Ladies launch their 17-18 new tournament, the Tyrrells Premier 15s, when they'll be taking on Richmond. And coincidentally, so will our men as they take on Richmond at 2 o'clock also here at Ashton Gate. And just a reminder, it is the Bristol Half Marathon on Sunday morning, so you might want to take a bit of time to plan your journey accordingly. Well, let's have a look at what the Bristol Rugby men's team have been up to. Every day for game day, there's always, always that buzz just before, like after warm up, but just before you leave the change room, everything's going through your head, making sure that uh, you're getting your first job well done, and then uh, just t take the game with a scruff of the neck. Well, fullback Matt Prothero there talking about his match day preparations on episode two of Inside Bristol Rugby. To watch the full episode, just head to the Bristol Rugby website. And some of the Bristol rugby players were here at Ashton Gate on Thursday evening in the sports bar to lend their support to an extreme challenge that the Bristol Sport Foundation is supporting. Four men in a boat, aptly named Nuts Over the Atlantic. They're hoping to raise £100,000 for the Movember Foundation by taking part in the Talisker Whiskey Challenge. It involves them rowing 3,000 miles across the Atlantic from La Gomera in the Canaries to Antigua in the Caribbean. And we wish them the best of luck for that challenge. And if you want to find out more, head to the website. You'll find plenty of links to their challenge. And we will, of course, be following their journey across our digital platforms. Before we go, just a word of mention about the City Women and a congratulations to Lauren Hemp, who was voted last Friday the Vauxhall England Young Player of the Year Award at the annual FA Awards held at Wembley. The 17-year-old striker who joined the Vixens after enrolling at SGS College is now a regular fixture 
in Willie Kirk's side. And I'm pleased to say that Lauren and Willie will be joining us for our next episode of Bristol Sport TV when we're back in a couple of weeks as we look ahead to their 17-18 WSL1 campaign. They kick off away to Chelsea on the 24th of September, but we'll be returning to Stoke Gifford Stadium for their local derby against Yeovil in their first home game of the season. That takes place on September the 30th and tickets available on the website now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Bristol Sport TV. Just head to the website for more information and not least if you're one of our younger members to join our Forever Bristol membership with those going on sale this weekend. Have a great weekend of Bristol Sport. <laughs>